Hello and welcome to the session on profit and loss. My Twitter handle is Ravi Handa and you can use that to provide feedback. Today we'll talk about just some of the basic terms which come in handy while solving questions on profit and loss. So what is the cost price? The price at which you buy a commodity is known as the cost price. Very similarly, the price at which you sell the commodity is known as the selling price. Then comes the question of what is the marked price? Well, it is something like the MRP, the tag which is on a particular piece of cloth. Often you would have seen that you don't actually buy objects at MRP. This is the price which is mentioned on the commodity. That is the mark price. You might be buying it at that price. You might not be buying it. But the price which is printed, that is the mark price. Then comes the question of what is profit or loss? Well, if your selling price is greater than the cost price, then you are making a profit. Whereas if your selling price is lesser than the cost price, then you are making a loss. The difference of the two, yeah, the selling price minus the cost price, that is your profit or loss. If selling price minus cost price comes out as a positive value, that would, if it comes out as a positive value, that would imply you made a profit. However, if it comes out as a negative value, that would imply that you made a loss. But absolute profits and absolute loss is, don't make much sense you should have them in terms of percentages. Whether it is a profit percentage or it is a loss percentage, they are all calculated on the cost price. Please remember, this is a very, very common mistake that people make. Profit percentage as well as loss percentage are given by the same formula that is given here. Selling price minus cost price upon the cost price into 100. The same formula can be used for calculating your loss also. However, there is a slight difference. The difference is in this case, it will come out as a negative percentage. Then comes the question of what is the discount? Well, the discount is whatever was the mark price. If from that you remove the selling price, that is the discount. Let's say if you're planning to buy a book, which is priced at 200 rupees, but at an online store, you are able to buy it for 120 rupees. Then you have gotten a discount of 80 rupees. That is the mark price of 200 minus the price at which actually the book was sold 120. That difference is your discount. Now, if you have to calculate it in terms of percentage, well, very similar to the profit and loss formula. But the point to note is the difference here, the discount that is always, always calculated on the marked price. That is the difference between profit and loss and discount. Profit and loss are always calculated on the cost price, whereas the discount is always calculated on the marked price. There is another term which is, well, not as popular as profit, loss and discount but it comes in handy. This is the markup. Say the goods that you are buying, you see they are often given at a very large discount. Does that mean that the seller is making a loss? I don't think so. In most cases, people don't sell stuff at a loss. What they have done is that they have inflated the cost. They have the MRP which they have mentioned is a bit too high. How do you know that? Well, that difference between whatever is the mark price and the cost that is known as the markup. So the book example, I would continue. You purchase the book at 120. The price which was mentioned was 200 and the cost price, let's assume was 100 rupees. Then the markup in this case was also uh, 200 minus 100 or 100 rupees. In terms of percentage, if you want to calculate, well, this is very, very similar to your profit and loss. This is calculated again at the cost price. So markup or markup percentage is calculated at the cost price. The actual markup, absolute markup is given as the difference between the mark price and the cost price. So this is broadly 
the basic idea or the basic terminology which comes in handy in case of profit and loss. Please provide feedback via Twitter or via email. My mail ID is ravihanda at gmail.com. Thank you.